Well, well, what's going on everybody? It's your boy P-Dog here at Illuvination. Today we're gonna talk about positioning in Illuvium. In every auto battler game it's super super important how you position your units because that is one of the only things we can do. We can decide what we're gonna position and where we're gonna position it. And in today's video we're gonna talk about the where. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video because then we're gonna review some gameplay footage of the Illuvium team playing the auto battler and we will see if their positioning is up for the task. Look at this picture and imagine you would have to place all of these units in the right position. Stress this yard? No problem, we don't have to place so many units. It's just to show that when you place one or two it's pretty easy but if you have to place eight or something it gets a bit more complicated. So that's why we're gonna have a look at positioning today. First we're gonna talk about attack ranges. So Atlas right here, he got an attack range of zero, he can only attack what's in his reach. And the Scorpion right here, he got a bit of a bigger attack range, let's call it attack range one. And he can attack a bit more because he got a big old stinger to work with. So his attack range is maybe gonna look like this, alright? So when the game starts, they're gonna scan their surroundings. Atlas is gonna scan around him, is there any enemy to attack? Nope. So he's gonna walk up to the closest enemy. One step, arrives here, he's gonna scan again. Is there enemy to attack? Maybe, because this scorpion, he's also scanning. Is there anybody around me? Nope. Walk up one step. Is there anybody around me? Yes. So they both found an enemy, they're gonna attack each other. Let's ignore Atlas for a minute. And let's put a unit right here. We are ignoring her too. Alright, this is our range carry. Right here. He has a range of this much. So now when the game starts, he's gonna scan his surroundings. Is there anybody here? Nope. Scan more. Anybody here? Nope. Scan more, scan more, scan more, till he's at his maximum attack range. If there's nobody in his range, then he's gonna walk up one step, arrive here, and he's gonna scan his surroundings again. Is there anybody here? Anybody here? Boom! There's somebody here, and he's gonna attack this unit. Meanwhile, the scorpion is gonna do the same. He's gonna scan here. Nobody here. Nobody there. Walk up one step. Scan my attack range. Nobody here. Nobody there. Boom. Walk up. Scan my attack range. Now, he's already getting attacked by our range carry from here. So he's gonna step up to the next possible target, one more step, boom, boom, scan, somebody's here, he's gonna attack this target. What you wanna think about is who should get the damage and who should get no damage. The damage should go onto the big tank who is made for taking damage. It should go onto some units that have really good ultimates, so they're gonna trigger their ultimate ability, or it should go onto support for the same reason so they can trigger their ability. If I have this support and his ability is to shield my whole team but he's back here and he will be the last person to be attacked, he's gonna be the last person to trigger his ability and maybe all of the team is already dead when he finally shields his whole team. You see what I'm getting at? But if this guy's ability is to revive somebody you maybe want to put him in the back line so he triggers his ultimate after somebody of your front line died. So depending on when you want your units to cast their abilities, you have to put him in the fire to get some damage. Who shouldn't get damage? Your carries, your squishies, those bad boys. With a lot of range, with a lot of damage, but they're so squishy. To prevent that, you put a big old tank in front. If they have assassins that jump into your back line, you can also block in your carries, so you can put a support right here, one here, maybe a tank here, and now your carry is safe from assassins, from rogues, nobody can jump on him. The problem is though, if they got somebody with a big old AOE effect, they could just hit all of your units here in one go, and you're very vulnerable to those AOE effects once you block up. Another good tactic is to split damage. So you have one tank here, and you have another tank here. This guy is gonna get all the damage from all the 10 units over here. And 
he's gonna die fast because they focus him down and then they all gonna focus this guy down instead two units here next to each other all of these units they're gonna split their damage two are gonna attack this guy two are gonna attack this guy it's not gonna be five onto one it's gonna be three onto one and two onto one so you can split that damage and that's a good thing because these guys now can cast more abilities they're not gonna die so fast they have more time to load their mana and unload some heavy abilities on their enemies for example a big old tank right here but he has like so much damage that this tank is just dying too fast you're just gonna put your strong range unit you're gonna put it like maybe I don't know maybe here your carry you put it here so now all of this guy still attack him but this guy maybe our carry is closer so he's gonna attack him and you're gonna split a little bit of damage away and by the time our tank is like almost dead our carry will have lost some life too and you are gonna have used the health bar of your carry as well as a resource it's very important sometimes to split the damage but you can't split it too much like you can't put a carry right here now four guys are gonna attack him and he's gonna die instantly and only three on him so this is where positioning gets very tricky because just positioning from here to here to here will have a completely different outcome on the game. If you enjoyed the video so far, give it a like and help me grow and help me reach more people. I would really appreciate it. It was a lot of work doing this video. Thank you so much. All right, let's jump right into this. We see, we got the tank right here. It's pretty obvious, right? Tank is in the back line. Our probably damage dealer is kind of frontlining right now and we got another carry over here and she's a carry too i really don't like putting the tank in the back line there's not many situations where you do that you maybe put him in the back line to defend this guy but you don't put him in the back line behind your carry all right this guy should be right here i'd say because if you put him here maybe one or two guys are still gonna attack him when you split a bit of damage but most of them are gonna attack him so you at least have a bit of attack damage split if you don't want the scorpion to tank anything then you put him here that's the tank positioning and if he should tank everybody if you want to split some damage you just put him a bit a bit to the right so one or two guys are gonna attack the scorpion so we got the big ramphy right here in the front tanking up damage and getting an ultimate out quick in the beginning all right remember these three guys are gonna attack him he's gonna load his ultimate he's gonna almost die of course he's tanking units but if he gets his ultimate out before he dies then he gets untouchable those three guys are gonna find a new target and he's gonna rain fire down on everybody all right so I really like the position of the Ramphy what we got here we got another tank right here He's only gonna soak up damage from the shrimp. Those three guys are closer to Ramphy. So what I would do is put this guy maybe here. He's soaking up damage from two guys. And it's a bit more of a damage split. 2-2. Two, two. Ramphy's a bit more safe to really get his ultimate out before he dies. Another thing we can clearly see. We are outnumbered. We got 6 versus 4 here. Here is a little bit of an assassin. Well, the assassin is countered with this tank, so that's really good. But maybe he's gonna attack the scorpion, you know? Like, he's gonna walk up, scan. Uh, he's probably gonna attack the tank, so that's a good thing. But the tank should still be here and not back here. So we are gonna get wrecked for sure, you know? Tank in the back line, two more units on the enemy team, positioning just weak. Let's move on to the gameplay footage. Right. Here. All right. So what we got? We got a range carry in the front, but he's like our tankiest guy right now. So he put him in the front, and we got our range carry, my second range carry in the back. we're putting Archie in here 
He's a range carry too. He's super squishy. There is no reason for Archie to be next to the tank. He would just get some splash damage, some area damage. That's not so good. If you want him to split the damage with the other one, then you gotta take in this one too. Because Archie is too squishy. If he splits a bit too much damage, he's dead right away. So he can't die first. If you split damage, you want all of them to die at the same time. That would be the ideal damage split. Let's see what happens. If you look at his positioning, the melee damage dealer is in the back and the range damage dealer is in the front, which would be okay because the range damage dealer is way tankier than this one. But if you let him tank, then you at least gotta put the melee damage dealer right behind him so he can just attack right away. Like, there's no point for this one to be so far back if he's melee, he's just gonna take it forever to walk up. Alright, let's look at this, we're gonna swap for Ramphy. Now for Ramphy this is a really good position, because he's gonna tank damage, they're gonna split some damage, those two are gonna attack him, those two are gonna attack him, Ramphy's gonna get a nice ultimate out on a lot of people, he's gonna reset, we should win this fight with Ramphy over here see what happens oh so we're repositioning hmm so all of a sudden we did exactly what our opponent wanted us to do we positioned all our units to the big ass tank over here this tank has a area of effect stun damage too so those two guys are gonna get stunned by him he's super tanky like our opponent wants us to attack him. He wants this guy to take the most damage. Because this guy super squishy. This guy super squishy, super squishy. So if we have him over here. And this guy maybe over here. And her over here. Then Ramphy is going to kill him. He's going to kill them. And then the Ramphy ulti comes out. And by that time his tank will have walked over here so <laughs> the positioning change really really was a big mistake I'm sure you wouldn't do that then. so what's gonna happen they're not doing any damage to the tank he's way too tanky casting his ultimate stunning both of them and the damage the three damage dealers all squishy they can just blast away because everybody's focused on the tank close but just a bit of repositioning it would have been easy you will know how to do it better once the beta comes out i hope you all get a key that's gonna do it for today i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the subscribe button hit the bell button to get the notification and i see you next time peace